Okay, welcome back. What I want to look at, look at today is the IEE regulations, the application of symbols and formulae, or let's call it formula, by myself, Terence Payne, March 2023. Now, just to make sure that I've been able to put that into place, what I want to do is to bring this up, and again, all I've said here is to reiterate what I've just said previously, okay? Now, what I want here to do, let me see, make sure we bring this up a little bit bigger, okay? So that there's no difficulty in reading what's on the screen. Now again, IEE regulations. Now, I've just read this out to you, so you don't need me to read that out again to you. But let's just be sure that everyone has got it in their minds. It is important that you are aware of the IEE regulations and that you keep up to date with current regulations and changes. IEE regulations, the application of symbols and formulae or formula by myself, Terence Payne, March 2023, part one. Okay. Now one of the things I want to be able to do is to make sure everyone can read this without straining their eyes, okay? So what I'm going to do, I've made it extra large. Let me just take it down a little notch, one, one notch, okay? Well, well one notch to me, uh, let me just, just amend that, bring that back up to one, let me just make sure I can... I've got it all in view. Okay. Yes, I think it's all in view. Okay. Good. Now, symbols and formulae. The following symbols and formulae are employed in the various modules. Module 3 symbols. That's U, O, okay? Equals nominal voltage in volts. IP, prospective short circuit current in amperes. Okay, ZE, earth fault loop impedance external to a circuit in ohms, right? That's the external impedance that the earth fault loop would encounter should an earth fault loop occur. F, frequently in hertz, cycle per second, okay? Now, module five, now ignore the modules in this case, okay? Because they're not relevant. It's only to give us a guide as to what section we're dealing with at a given point in time, okay? And module five, formulae. Assess current demand for an electric cooker. The first 10 amps of total rate of current of cooker plus 40% of the remainder of the total rate of current plus five amps if a socket outlet is incorporated in the control unit. Assess current demand equal 10 amps plus 30 percent of the remainder plus 5 amps. So what they're saying here is now remember this may have changed slightly because what has happened is that we are no longer using a massive cooked 30 amps for our cooker units. We are now plugging them into a 13 amp socket because the cooker units the electric ovens are now operating at three kilowatts and I know from my own cooker in the kitchen it simply plug into a 13 amp socket fed by the cooker control unit but obviously you no longer need a 30 amp supply it's a, you can feed it now from your 13 amp socket because all the oven is going to take is three kilowatts now you compare that to when an oven used to use like six and ten kilowatts of power that you will need that full 30 amps cooker fuel rating which would be necessary for that type of power in an oven but over time what we've found of course is that we don't need that much power in an oven 
the other one needs to be operational within a given wattage and it does the job anyway okay now discharge lighting current demand where exact information is not available and the power factor is not less than 0.85 now be aware of any changes to this value here okay current demand of a discharge lamp equal wattage of lamps times 1.8 factor over supplied voltage w times 1.8 over voltage supply voltage okay uo now module six and again this module is only just for reference only it does not apply to any particular or specific unit okay it is purely for reference only z equal impedance in ohms r equals resistance in ohms ohms omega equals ohms kilo ohms is a thousand ohms mega ohms is one million ohms zs earth fault loop impedance okay r1 resistance of phase conductor from origin of circuit to the most distant socket outlet or other point of utilization z1 for conductors 35 millimeter Now R2, resistance of protective conductor from origin of circuit to the most distant socket outlet or other point of utilization, that two for conductors, 25 millimeter square, less than, okay, symbol means less than, equal to or less than, okay, greater than, greater than, equal to or greater than, okay, that's what that symbol means, okay, so look at the symbols. That is what we're talking about, okay? Now this symbol here means approximately equal to, okay? CPC, circuit protective conductor, electrical current in amperes, okay? IF. Okay, let me just adjust this to bring this back in, into view. Okay. Pardon me. Now, module 6 continue again, point of reference formulae. Excuse me. ZS equals ZD plus R1 plus R2. IF equals supply voltage over ZS okay and that would be fault fault current to flow okay now Module 7, symbols, IB, design current of the circuit in amperes, IN, nominal current or current setting for, of device, IZ, current carrying capacity of any of the circuit conductors, I2, effective operating current of a device, I2, now it's interesting here, mm. T in regards to time, duration in seconds, 
k a constant value for a particular type of cable okay now you will find these factors given in your specification for cabling okay so keep that in mind and be aware of that s cross-sectional area csa of conductors in millimeter square i effective short circuit current in amperes okay Module 7. Prospective short circuit current, IP. IP equals V voltage over Z total plus Z1 plus Z2. Okay? Where V equals source of voltage. ZT equals impedance of supply transformer. that is the transformer where the supply is fed from okay but that would be taken as whether you have a value for that given basically z1 z2 equal conductor impedances okay Now protection against overcurrent, okay. Protection against overcurrent. IN equals nominal current or current setting of device. IB equals design current of circuit. IZ equals current carrying capacity of any of the circuit conductors. I2 equals current which ensures effective operation of the device. IB less than or equal to IN design current must not exceed current setting of device. That means that your design current must match the device you're going to use to protect your cables. Okay? IN IZ IE example current setting of device must not exceed the lowest conductor rating so the conductor rating the conductor must be able to handle current that it may have to carry in a short circuit duration over a given period of time okay therefore ib if less than or equal to in if less than or equal to iz I2 if less than or equal to 1.45 times IZ. Okay. Now you'll find that these will crop up in your calculations. And somewhere along the lines, I'm going to be doing calculations using these information. But at this point in time, I only need you to, you to know and have the information to hand so you can use it as a point of reference for your own edification. Okay. The following device is if the conditions in expression A are satisfied, then the conditions in expression B will also be satisfied. HBC, high break capacity fuse to BS888, cartridge fuse to BS1361, circuit breakers to BS3871. Now, be aware the standards of these may have changed as we get different types of circuit breakers on the, coming onto the market over duration of time. Okay? So look keep your eyes open and make yourself familiar with that knowledge and information it is vital that you are kept up to date and keep yourself up to date with current regulations and information where a reliable fuse to bs 3036 is used then in order to satisfy expression b i n if less than 0.725 times i z okay now you will see where either comes in in regards to the impedance and that's what you need to bear in mind that uh, dc sees resistance 
AC sees impedance, okay? Okay. Protection against short circuit current. When the CSA cross section area of conductors is 10 millimeter square or greater, and for short circuits of duration up to 5 seconds, then T equals K squared times S squared over I squared. K squared, S squared over I squared. Now, don't take in regulations 434, now section 6. Now, be aware that this may change in the new edition of the IE regulations, okay? So be aware of this. Don't assume the number to be the same here. You will need to read and look it up for yourself and check it. And you can check in regards to protection against short circuit currents, okay? and use the current index of the IE regulation to find your headings, okay? The T equals duration of short circuit in seconds, S equals cross sectional area in millimeters square, I equals effective short circuit current in amperes, K equals constant value for a particular type of cable, okay? Okay. Right, this is where I'm going to stop now because, because I want to do this in seven in little sections. Module eight symbols millivolts amps per meter, millivolts per ampere per meter. Yes, okay, that's what I've just said. But we're going to stop there for now. Let me just go back and make sure that we got it all in view for you, and we'll pick it up in part two. Okay. Oh, right, thank you, I won't go back, because each one will be different, okay, so we'll pick it up from section 8 next time, okay, right, thank you for your time, have a good day, bye-bye for now.